Hey YouTube, welcome back. My name's Maury and today we're breaking down some of the changes to the Bunny Day event in Animal Crossing New Horizons in 2024. Yes, believe it or not, we will experience some subtle changes to this event, making things play out a little differently this year compared to previous years. Plus, we'll highlight a few tips and tricks and some fun little details towards the end that you can use in preparation for Bunny Day that even experienced players may have overlooked. So if you're excited for the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Animal Crossing content. Now, as you know, the Bunny Day event sees Zippity Bunny himself host an egg scavenger hunt for a little over a week on the New Horizons Island and allows us to redeem and craft one of the largest furniture series in the entire franchise. However, this year in 2024, Bunny Day is actually celebrated on March 31st, with Bunny Day taking place in March for the first time since the launch of New Horizons. In fact, Bunny Day hasn't been celebrated this early in a new year in Animal Crossing since 2016, so a March Bunny Day is long overdue. Anyway, this now means Bunny Day will take place entirely in March, so we'll begin with meeting Zippity Bunny on March 24th, followed by a week of hunting and discovering those super adorable Bunny Day eggs all around our islands. And speaking of discovering amazing and cute things, I'd like to thank today's sponsor Midas Merge. Midas Merge is a new and super cozy mobile game where you can discover and nurture adorable creatures whilst exploring and healing your very own garden. This satisfying merge game allows you to hatch whimsical creatures and help them evolve. Honestly, it's super cute, all whilst discovering special abilities to help you in your journey. Why not jump in and help restore the Garden of Gold, discover treasures and feed your critters magical items today? Personally, I've been playing since earlier this week and I just love how satisfying it is to hatch new eggs. And not only is it fun to see how many new items can be found by merging others, but there is an entire backstory to unearth surrounding King Midas and Queen Leia and why the goddess of night Nyx has decided to cast shadows over the garden you're healing. So if you'd like to uncover clues to this story and follow me into this new adventure be sure to check out this cozy game using the links in my description or find out more using the QR code on screen now. It helps out the channel and you get to discover something magical and fun to pass the time and it's completely free with absolutely zero zero mandatory ads. I think you'll really enjoy it and who knows just how many adorable eggs you will hatch. Once again, I'd like to thank Midas Merge for sponsoring today's video. Now back to Bunny Day, it's worth noting that the Bunny Day event itself may even be shorter than you remember. Bunny Day takes place for a total of 12 days in Animal Crossing New Horizons version 1.9 and lower. However, since then the event has been shortened to only 8 days. This is likely due to how overwhelming the event was at launch and it's a whole thing, but if you haven't played in a couple of years or you've only just updated to a more recent version, you may be surprised to find Bunny Day is over much quicker than before, giving us less time to find eggs. As we mentioned earlier, Bunny Day 2024 takes place entirely in March this year, beginning on March 24th, which is when you meet Zipper for the first time, and then comes to a close on March 31st, a week later, where you'll meet Zipper once again. Anyway, the subtle changes to Bunny Day 2024 don't stop there, as given we're experiencing the Bunny Day event in its entirety in March, the event won't cross over with the cherry blossom season and this is another first for new horizons given bunny day has overlapped with the cherry blossom season every year since the launch of the game until now as a result of this the most notable change will of course be the lack of cherry blossom trees which has a few implications firstly we won't get to experience cherry blossom trees with leaf eggs growing on them of course they will still spawn on the usual hardwood trees but we won't get to experience these aesthetically pleasing and unique cherry blossom leaf egg trees as we have done in previous years. Secondly, whilst not necessarily associated with actual cherry blossom trees, given Bunny Day won't cross over with the cherry blossom season this year, it does mean players won't be distracted by cherry blossom DIY recipes, for example, whilst bloom hunting for sky eggs. In fact, you could pretty much ignore every ordinary bloom present during this event if you wanted to, which couldn't have been done in previous years for those also searching for 
items from the Cherry Blossom series. Of course, this is really only relevant to those of us in the Northern Hemisphere, as those in the Southern Hemisphere have never experienced Bunny Day and the Cherry Blossom season at the same time, and never will, but still a pretty interesting change for those of us in the North. Anyway, moving on, as a result of these changes to Bunny Day in 2024, we can also expect to encounter a variety of different weather patterns and phenomena throughout the week-long event that we wouldn't have before. Again, this is actually due to the lack of cherry blossom floating around the island, which usually triggers full-on sunny weather for the duration of the cherry blossom season. However, given Bunny Day falls in March and doesn't overlap even a single day with the cherry blossom season this year, our New Horizons Island will naturally default back to its original non-cherry blossom weather patterns, which means there's every chance we'll be hunting Bunny Day eggs in heavy rain or even thunderstorms at least once during Bunny Day 2024, which is kind of cool. In fact, according to my weather pattern, I'm personally due heavy rain for the last few days of the event, which will be a first for me. Now, that's about it for the changes you can expect for Bunny Day 2024, but I thought it'd be fun to include a couple of Bunny Day facts that you may also find interesting. Firstly, if you are experiencing bad luck surrounding money in Animal Crossing New Horizons, you typically wouldn't be able to find gold nuggets from rocks on your island. However, it seems this bad luck is actually negated during Bunny Day events, meaning you can still find gold nuggets even if you are experiencing bad luck during the Bunny Day event. I think, which although isn't game changing, is super interesting. Of course, if you're wondering if you have bad luck on any given day, be sure to check in with Katrina on Harv's Island, even on Bunny Day. Anyway, a super useful tip for those who will be actively hunting for water eggs, either to stock up for the future or to craft a bunch of Bunny Day items, is to simply switch to the beautiful ordnance at the resident services. This is because no trash items such as tires, cans and boots will spawn in the river or ocean when you're fishing for those water eggs. You'll be surprised how often you'll find trash when you just want a couple of extra eggs, so it's worth considering. And finally, if you ever find yourself needing even more eggs during the Bunny Day event, especially leaf or wood eggs, be sure to visit Mystery Islands and Boat Tours to obtain more. Even something as simple as planting extra hardwood trees on your own island will help significantly. So there we have it, that's everything you need to know about the changes we can expect to see during the Bunny Day event in 2024, with a few tips and tricks and interesting facts thrown in for good measure. As always, if you made it to the end of the video, be sure to post Bunny Day in the comments just to let me know you did, and be sure to include whether or not you'll be playing through Bunny Day this year. Once again, I'd just like to remind you to check out Midas Merge and see how many adorable critters you can find in your garden. You can download Midas Merge for free using the link in the description or the QR code on screen now. It's a super simple way to support the channel, it's free, and you get to play an awesome game. As always, thank you so much to all the patron and channel members for supporting this content, have a wonderful bunny day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.